Yeah. Hello, guys. So today uh, we'll discuss with the uh, first lab set program of uh, design and analysis of algorithm for fourth sem students. The first program, basic program. So what it says, so you need to create a Java class called a student. You need to create a Java class called a student and you need to enter the details of students like what all the things I said is you need to read the details like USN, name, branch and phone number. And I said that you need to write a Java program to create n student object. Means you need to create an array object to read what does n number of student details. And what you need to do is you need to print their information like USN name, branch and phone of this object with suitable heading. The aim of this particular program is simple. You need to create a class and make the object of what the student class, whatever you have created, to print the details of what the students, whatever we are in. So simple thing implementation, create a class called a student. So as you know that what in the class is a thing, but it's a collection of object or it's a blueprint of an object, template or prototype, whatever you can say. The syntax of class, how it says access specifier class keyword class name within what a pair of parentheses it consists of what variables methods constructor blocks whatever it is and what do you mean by object it's a real world entity or it's an instance of class and object normally consists of what a identity or it can have a state or behavior state is something but the variables or attribute behavior is something but what methods that's it. So here they said that uh, after creating a class called a student, you need to declare four variables that contain the details like what USN name, branch, and phone. after that you need to create what you need to create a constructor to initialize these variables. As you know that the constructor is same name as that of your class, that is your student. You don't have any return type for your constructors. Okay, there are different types of constructors like default constructor, parameterized constructor, and all, copy constructor, and all. Don't want like uh, why the constructor is used it is used to allocate the memory for what for your student class or to assign the values for the variable like your usn name branch phone number you are taken right if you want to assign the values for this variable what do you need you need your constructor what does it do it is used to initialize the object or it is used to allocate the memory for what memory for your student class objects or student class variables or student class methods whatever Hope you are clear. And they said that create a function that prints these details like USN name, branch, and phone number. And they said that you need to create what multiple objects. That's why you need to create what the object, what are you creating for your student class? It should be what array objects okay. that calls the function to print the details. So here they are using uh, two different types of functions. One is used to insert the record, insert the information like USN name, branch, and your phone number. And one more thing is for display the information of the student. So two functions and four variables. That's it. So input for your program is values, USN name, branch, and phone number. Output, what does it do? Displays the details of n student object. It prints that. So create a student class, declare the variables, a constructor is used to initialize this variable, and function for display the details. And if you want to print multiple objects of student, what do you need to do? You need to create what a student object or an array object. So straight away. Uh, let me go with the uh, program. Okay, how exactly it executes? I'm sharing the screen of Eclipse where the program consists of. Okay, so hope. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll come to your program. As you know that uh, the program start with uh, your packages uh, header files. Okay, here what is a header file I use is import Java dot util dot scanner. As you know that scanner is a class. Why it is used? It is used to read the input from what user or your keyboard. Scanner class is used. And as you know that uh, first thing is class I need to create. What is the syntax of class? The access specifier, class keyword, and class name is what? Student. So whatever the class name you are giving, that should be same as your file name. And I need to read four variables, right? What are the four variables? USN, name, branch, and phone. And what is the type of that particular data you're reading? USN is of string data type. S should be uppercase. Name is of also string data type, branch is also of string data type, phone is of what? Integer. And I'm using two methods that is insert record and display record. So whatever I'm passing to your from your main function, 
okay i'm just copying to this local variables of uh, uh, register name branch that is copied to this actual variables us and name branch and and display record is used to print all those things and as soon as that uh, this plus operator whatever it is that is called a string concatenation so when i want to print after printing some string you want to print some other thing you need to use a plus operator in your print function that is used as a string concatenation operator so here what you are doing is usn space so here space after space you are printing one more uh, what you can say is result or value that is your name plus name why because plus name you need to use the string concatenation operator as plus string concatenation operator after my uh, space it has to copy this one that's it hope you are clear with this and coming to your main function as you know that main function whatever it is it every application must contain a main method execution starts from your main method and in your java programs it will be like public static void main so what do you mean by public the access specifier so that your java virtual machine can execute what your main function from anywhere the main function whatever it is it it can be executed from anywhere in the system whenever you make it as what public next static uh like normally what happens is uh, any method or any variables if you want to access it has to access through what class object but main is also a method so whenever you make your main method as static what does it mean it the main method can be called without an object you don't require the class student class object to call which one here your main function then when you make it as what static as void doesn't return anything main normally the name configured in your java virtual machine and the argument what i am passing is string args okay so here what does it mean string args so this is going to accept this is going to accept the argument as what uh, a single argument or array of elements that is of type what that is of type your string that is of type what you can say string s capital hope you are cleared and this specifies your pass you are accepting the input from what command line that's it. you are accepting the input from what your command line Hope you are clear with this. Okay. So next year, as soon as that you need what I said in your third step of your implementation, you need what constructor. You need what constructor. So how to create a constructor here? Uh, now I'm what I'm doing is I'm creating an object to a class object. How I can create this to a class object? See here, student class name. And this your object name. As I want to read n student details, I'm creating what I'm using the subscript. Object is what s yes. new student of hundred. So this is what this is your constructor. Why constructor is used? Constructor is used to allocate memory or to assign the values for what the variables. What are the variables are used, or what are all the particular methods are using that can be accessed to what your constructor itself. Okay. And now I need to specify n student details, right? I want to read how many number of students I need to enter. So how did how I want to enter through a keyboard? So whenever I'm entering through a keyboard, I'm going to use which class here? Scanner class. So scanner S capital. This is the object that is used to read what the USN name, uh, your branch, and your phone number. I want to read through a keyboard, right? So through this object, I'm using new scanner. So same thing constructor. But what is the argument you're passing is system dot in. So system what it says is a predefined class that provide access to what? That provide access to your computer, your system, and in Whatever it is, it's a variable of type what input stream. If it's a variable of what input stream that is connected to what that is connected to your console or your system, that's it. So enter the number of system system dot dot print ln. Okay. So then again system predefined class. Okay. The out is a what you can say is variable of type what output stream connected to your console monitor. The number of students you are entering, and that is of what data type integer. But whenever we want to specify, okay. You need to use a method called as next int i capital next int. So what is that? What that specifies? Scans the next token of the input as and in what integer. So whenever you're reading from your keyboard, the next token what are you reading? The token what you're reading is of what integer type and copy it to variable called as n. Suppose if I give two students, two student details will be present. As I want to create n student details, right? So I'm just calling the student constructor. See student constructor. I'm calling. So we are going to call this student s of i equal to new student. So this is to use to create a constructor of n student object. So that's why for loop I used. 
I use n student details. That's why I'm using for loop. Uh, I need to read until what? Until how many number of students? That is n students, whatever you give. S of i equal to new student. Okay. So, and I'm using a for loop to read each and uh, every variable. So, uh, USN is of string array type. That's why I'm using a method called as sc.next. So, you need to use sc.next as a method whenever I'm using, I'm reading the token as what string. So again, name is of string, that's why sc.next method. Branch is also of type string, that's why sc.next. And what are the phone numbers of integer? That's why I need to use next.in. But I'm reading through what keyboard? That's why I need to use what scanner class. Scanner object is what? SC. That's it, SCI. And whatever I'm reading, I need to copy to what? Uh, the, I need to pass to which, uh, which particular method? Insert record. So whenever I want to call any methods from your main function, I need to all through what your student object what is the student object s as i need to read n student details i use for loop so s of j dot insert record so usn name branch whatever right i am just passing to that particular insert record function so it comes here copies your usn to usn like that that's it so your local variables it copies to actual variables like usn name branch and and i want to display right system dot out dot printer and i'm just displaying usn plus String concatenation operator name branch phone and all I'm printing. So if I want to come to this function from your main function, I need to call this method through what through your class object. Class is what s class object is what s. So I'm using n student object. That's why I'm using for loop. So s of m dot display record. And whenever I, it calls this one, it goes to the display record and prints the details. And this is the end of your for loop. And this is the end of your main function. This is the end of your class. Copy a click so let uh, see the results how it executes okay so it's going to ask into the n student details i'll just give the number of students are two it's asking the usn and all you need to enter so i'm just entering usn just press enter for after each and every variable next it is named is asking i have entered so as and branch it is asking cac and phone number you enter okay click and first student details you entered again it is taking what the second uh, student details I'll just give 008 Rashmika okay. and I'll give the branch CSC and some number. So then what does it do? It passes and displays the student information by what? Display record. So this is your program, first program, simple program. Hope you understood, guys. Uh, thank you.